Hi again, this is Sammy. Here is a method to memorize the times table from six to nine. So um, this method here is very simple. Um, so what you do is, um, let's say you wanna multiply six times seven. So what you do, you go, as you notice that I'm, I'm numbering all my fingers from six to 10 this way and from six to 10 this way. So six times seven, what you do on this hand, you close the six and this hand, you close up to seven. Now, the numbers you closed, you count them by tens. So that's 10, 20, 30. So that gives you 30. And the numbers that are not closed here, so you have one, two, three, and here one, two, three, four, you multiply three by 40, you get 12. And therefore you add the 12 to the 30 and you get 42 and that's your answer. Now let us do another one. So how about if we do eight times nine? So again, you close the six, seven, eight here and you close the six, seven, eight, nine. So these numbers that are, that are closed, you count them by tens. So you have seven fingers that are closed. So that counts for 70. And then for the other numbers, which is you have one here and you have two here, you just multiply them. So two times one is two. You add the two to the 70 and you got 72. How about we'll do nine times nine. You close your fingers up to nine in here and you do the same thing in here because it's nine times nine. So these numbers that are closed, they count by 10 again. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 80. And the numbers that are not closed, you just multiply them. So you have one times one, which gives you one and you add those and you get 81. How about we try six times six? So six times six. So you go six here, close this finger, and also the six from here, close this finger. So that's this six, that's that six. Count them by tens. So that's 10, 20. So you have 20. And the open fingers right here, you have four here, you have four here. So you just multiply them. Four times four is 16. And then what you do, you just add these two numbers here and you get 36. Yeah. Let's do nine times seven. So nine is this hand, seven is that hand. Nine, so you close this finger, this finger, this finger, and this finger. And seven, you close this finger and this finger. Now, we could look at, you have one on this hand and you have three on this hand. So this is what you multiply. Three times one, you get three. And the fingers that you close, you count them by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's what you add to 60. So that gives you 63. Yeah. Um, let's do seven times seven. Seven on this hand and seven on this hand. So you close six, seven. And here, close six, seven, because that's seven times seven. Now the numbers that you closed or the fingers that you closed, count them by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's 40 plus. And the numbers that are not closed, you have three on the side and three on the side. You multiply these two numbers, three times three is nine, 49. That's your answer. Okay. So how about eight times seven? So here we're gonna close that up to eight. And here we're gonna close up to seven. So we close these fingers. Now the closed fingers, you count them by 10. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the numbers that are open, you multiply this hand by this hand. So you have two times three is six. And you add the six right there and you get 56. So as you see, this works all the time for, for the numbers from six to nine.
it's an amazing way. I think it's um, as long as the child knows how to count by tens. So the students must know their multiplication table up to four. Let's do one more. So here's seven times six. So close this, close this up to seven. And here is just close six. Now the close finger, count them by tens, 10, 20, 30. And the open fingers, just multiply them. So you have three here times four there, and that's 12. Add these, you get 42. And that's what six or seven times six is. And that's it. Um, I think this is amazing. Uh, it will help a lot of children that struggle with the multiplication table especially the six, seven, eight, and nine, to uh, do them on their hands and fingers. So I hope this helps your child. And if you like this, please hit that like button, share with others so they could benefit. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Your support is appreciated. As always, thanks for watching. Next time, bye-bye.